she would sleep in her office more often than not because she had to be here for covering a shift overnight. Tributes are pouring in for three women who worked tirelessly to help war veterans in the Bay Area, only to be gunned down by one of the men they were hoping to reach. Good evening. Yeah, Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney, Executive Director, Christine Lober, Clinical Director, Jennifer Golick, and Clinical Psychologist Jennifer Gonzalez Shushariba were shot and killed yesterday in Yountville. They all worked for a treatment program for veterans from wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. They were taken hostage inside Building G on the campus of the Veterans Home of California off Highway 29. The three women that were lost yesterday dedicated their lives to helping our veterans. KPX 5 is live with team coverage. Kitty Nielsen is in Yauntville with more on this investigation. But let's begin with Maria Medina at St. Francis High School in Mountain View. And that is where Gonzalez Shushariba was a student. Maria? And tonight we are actually hearing from Jennifer's family. We have learned she was a daughter, a doctor, a sister, a wife. And she was about to add one more role, mother. I and members of the Pathway Home family and the Yountville family lost three beautiful people yesterday. Jen Gonzalez Shushariba was not only a clinical psychologist for the San Francisco Veterans Medical Center. Live their lives selflessly to serve others. She was also just weeks from being a mom. She was seven months pregnant with her first child. And she and her husband, TJ, were less than two weeks away from their one-year wedding anniversary. On a wedding website, the couple talked about how they met through an online dating service in 2013. TJ proposed to her two years later, saying to Jen, quote, I want to laugh with you forever, dance with you forever, and be weird with you forever. Will you marry me? Her friends have taken to social media to share with the world how Jen touched their lives. She was a true light, a warm and engaging personality. The world is a worse place without her. Susan Hennessy wrote, Jen was brilliant. She cared about people. She dedicated her life to helping veterans who were hurting. They will be sorely, sorely missed on a professional level, um, even more so on a personal level. And tonight, Jennifer's family tells the night beat, quote, Jennifer was adored by all who knew her and will always be remembered for her unconditional love and incredibly giving heart. Now, Jennifer attended Stanford University as well as St. Francis High School. As you mentioned, school leaders described her as an excellent student and bright spirit. Live on the night beat, I'm Marie Medina. Maria, thank you. Well, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom tweeted today, we mourn the loss of three courageous women who dedicated their lives to caring for others, Jennifer, Christine, and Jennifer. Thank you for serving those who served our country. Our hearts break for your loved ones. You will be missed. And this is the shooter, Albert Wong, seen here in Facebook photo posted by the Pathway Home. Yonville's mayor said he is also part of the tragedy. We also lost um, one of our heroes, who clearly had demons that um, resulted in the, the terrible tragedy that we all experienced here.